Hi, Taki Norga. Nitgao eh, Shomoto. O sea que los que se sienten en ese lado de la grada. O sea que los que se sienten en ese lado de la grada, que estén un poco al lío. Yeah, Shomato, switch flip. Um, but first, yeah, uh, you've been a professional skater for a very long time. And, uh, how did it start? And when? Uh, so talk to the camera. Yeah. So I turned pro when I was 18, and I just turned 28, so I've been pro for 10 years. Um, I started skating when I was 10, though. I uh, had three older brothers, and I always wanted to be better than them, so uh, I always, you know, if they learned a trick, I always just pushed myself to learn it better than them, and I think, you know, that played a big part in me progressing in skating. Uh, and, yeah, that's pretty much how it happened. <laughs> who did the uh, hook you up first? Uh, My first, main. my first main sponsor was Girl Skateboards, um, and they're still a sponsor that I have today. Uh, there's a lot of history with that board brand, and um, that's who I turned pro with. And uh, yeah, I love it. Um, they're a great, great board brand. Yeah. Uh, a day for you? What? Like a day, just a normal day. A normal day for yeah, me. Um, don't have to do a lot, uh, but. Usually I start out, I wake up around 9.30, uh, go to physical therapy, just to kind of tune my body and make it feel like I want it to feel. And then uh, go to the skate park, skate for a few hours, and then hit the streets and try to film and shoot photos. And then come back home around six or seven, and then just hang with my friends and family, girlfriend. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. It's a pretty relaxing day now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, you know, occasionally uh, take the trips to Europe or wherever else, I don't know. Uh, there's, uh, yeah, like this uh, understanding of being a pro skater is just going around and, and skate uh, for whatever, but you probably have to do more than that. Well, yeah, I mean... Like today? <laughs> Exactly. So usually, you know, when I'm at home, I'm just skating uh, and trying to work on the projects uh, that I have, video parts and um, interviews and magazines. But uh, being a pro skater means that you travel a lot and you promote things, which I love. You know, I'm a fan of skateboarding and um, I get to come out to Barcelona, one of the most historic places to skate ever, and get to watch the Dutour Am series, which is the best AMs all around Europe competing against each other. This is great. I couldn't be happier, you know? So, um, yeah, being a pro skater, you got to do extra things, but a lot of those extra things are, are uh, great experiences. Nice. Is there any cons of being a pro skater? Is there anything you wish were different? Or uh, I mean, I would say there is cons just to skateboarding in general. So being a pro skater, you know, I skate a lot, which means I'm in pain a lot, <laughs> fall a lot. Uh, there is a certain pressure to perform, I guess. And, but I love that pressure and I think it helps progress me as a person and me as a skateboarder. So, um, Yeah, you know, you kind of got to embrace the pressure, but it is there being a professional, so um, that, that'd be the only setback, I would think. You mentioned also getting hurt a lot, and you were injured for quite a time. Yeah. Some years back. Yeah, so well, almost four years ago now, I went through a really bad ankle injury. It took a couple of years to get completely healthy again um, physically, and it took a little longer to get healthy mentally off that. It took a, a while for the confidence to come back. Um, it sucked at the time. Uh, it took a lot of hard work without skateboarding to be able to get back to the point that I wanted to get to. But now that I am in this uh, point in my life, you know, I'm almost glad it happened. Uh, it helped me, you know, helped me appreciate skateboarding for what it is and kind of took me back to kind of my roots and uh, appreciate my friendships and um, I think it helped me a lot in my life. Uh, 
Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be hard staying out for that long. Do you have any tips for anyone that will get an injury or have an injury? To how do you motivate yourself to continue? Yeah. So how I approached being injured was how I approached skateboarding in a way of so you know when I am healthy I go at skateboarding and I try to progress as much as I can in skating um, and when I got hurt my approach was the same way but was getting healthy I went to physical therapy every day as I would a skate park and I just worked like I would in any other way just on a specific part of my body and you know I just worked out my ankle every single day and I went and it's trial and error you know you you go through things that work and you go through things that don't and you got to figure out how your body responds to getting better and that's what I did so I would say for a skateboarder getting hurt just approach physical therapy and approach getting healthy the same as you would learning a trick nice knowledge <laughs> yeah. it's pretty yeah it's simple but it's something that you don't really think about you know yeah um, what are your future plans now that you're healthy and, and yeah your current projects yeah so my future plans are to keep working on video parts and I really want to have uh, work on interviews and in magazines um, and then other than that I want to get back to having these contest performances that I had before I got hurt you know I did well this year in contests but I still am a, f a few spots off of what I was four years ago so keep pushing in that try to get more consistent and um, yeah just just grow as a skateboarder nice I think we have the main uh, stuff um, have you ever been to Norway I have. I've Oslo, right? It's Norway? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I've been to Oslo once, um, a while ago. Uh, probably six years ago. Oh, so long. Maybe even a little more. Um, but it was great. I had a great time. Uh, I went to an ice bar where the whole bar was completely ice and the glasses and everything put parkas on. It was the only place in the world I've ever done that. Um, but Oslo also has a great skate scene and the city is so beautiful and amazing so I had a great time. It's been a long time, you have any plans of uh, returning? Uh, I don't have plans at the moment but I would love to make plans. Should we make a plan? When should we go? Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you know a guy named Karsten Keplin? Karsten Kleppan, yes. Yeah, so he's Norwegian, right? Yeah. Uh, and I just went on a trip with him and such a fan of his skating and he's such a, an awesome guy so I'd love to go out and visit Karsten and, and hang and kind of see his hometown. Uh, in which relation did you meet him or skate with him? So Karsten is on Nike as well as me so um, we just took a Nike trip together last month through the Midwest of America and um, yeah, I've known Carson for a long time, but that was one of my first trips with him, and it was great, man. He's so good at skating. I'm such a fan of his skating, and uh, I'm a fan of him as a person, too. So if, you know, if there's ever a chance I can go and skate with him, I'd, I'd love to. Nice. Good stuff. Um, have you watched the M-Series uh, progression or the videos? Uh, so I haven't seen a lot of videos, but I've been to AM series before in the past. And, you know, the talent level at these is amazing. These, I mean, these kids qualified to get here, you know, so it wasn't an easy road for them to be a part of the Dutour AM series. And, you know, the stakes are high for them to be able to come out to Long Beach and skate in the Dutour next year. And um, they're the best amateurs in Europe so uh, I'm always excited to see what they can pull off and the AM series that I've been to in the past have been great events so this year first year in Barcelona I'm excited to be a part of it. Uh, hi Taki Norga.
Nitgau uh, Shalmalta. Did that work? Yeah. <laughs> Did I do it? Yes. <laughs> See, I'm pretty much Norwegian now. I should just move there. I got it. I learned the language in 10 seconds. You should uh, definitely come out. We have this uh, new skate hall here. Yeah, I don't know if you have seen it. Yeah. Hall. It's crazy. Beautiful. Um, mm. Crazy space. I would love to go out there. Uh, it's uh, very well received and it has uh, meant a lot for, uh, for Oslo skate scene. Yeah, it this looks like a it looks like one of the nicest summer. museums in the world and then it's a skate park, you know, yeah. which uh, is great. You guys are lucky. Yeah, um, so check that out when you have the time. Please, invite me. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.
Did that work? Yeah. <laughs> Did I do it? Yes. <laughs> See, I'm pretty much Norwegian now. I should just move there. I got it. I learned the language in 10 seconds. You should uh, definitely come out. We have this uh, new skate hall here. Yeah, I don't know if you have seen it. Yeah. Hall. It's crazy. Beautiful. Um, crazy space. I would love to go out there. Uh, it's uh, very well received and it has uh, meant a lot for, uh, for Oslo skate scene. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like one of the nicest summer. museums in the world and then it's a skate park, you know, yeah. which uh, is great. You guys are lucky. Yeah, um, so check that out when you have the time. Please, invite me. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.